Okay, guys, I got a real special treat for you today. This, this is history. Now this, this is something I've had on layaway for a couple months, and I was extremely happy. Oh my God, you jumped right on my back and you clawed the shit out of me. <sighs> okay, anyways, this is something I put on layaway a couple months ago, and oh my God, I was so excited when I found it. It only came with this box, but that's okay. The firearm itself is the real treat here. So let's do an unboxing and let me show you the unicorn that I have found today. This is a West German two-tone SIG P226. I mean, look at that. You do not see the two tones very often. And there was a good reason I decided to take this pistol off of layaway today. Because today is my birthday. So, I want everyone to wish me a happy birthday in the comments. And tell me what a great present I have given myself. <laughs> <laughs> I see this thing listed and I was up there within an hour of the posting. So, this is what an official... West German, you see, West Germany, two-tone, SIG 226. That's what it looks like. Got a, it only came with one stainless magazine. But that's what that looks like. So, I mean, look how sexy this thing looks. I ordered these cool hand g10 grips because originally it had the Ho the hogue rubber finger uh grips on there and i do like those grips a lot but you could tell that those grips had been on this pistol for a long time and they had just been worn completely so i put these g10 cool hands on there and yeah it, it, it just gives it that 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 gorgeous look and the g10 grips are extremely grippy So they always say that these West Germans have a better fit and finish, trigger, all of that to them. So let's show you what the trigger is like. Okay, I'm going to do a decock. We'll do the double action first. Yeah, that's a pretty heavy double action to me, but it's very smooth. There's hardly any stacking that goes along. Okay, so let's do the single action now. Got some take up. Now that's a very light single action trigger. Yeah, that's a very light trigger. And here's the reset on it. Right there. And we got take up and then a light trigger again. I think that's pretty much your standard 226 trigger as far as the reset goes. So, um, you know, it, it's not the shortest reset ever, but it's not long enough for me to, to complain about it. It's still uh, short enough and it feels really crisp. Yeah, that single action, that single action breaks real easily. I mean, it, it feels less. It feels less than four and a half pounds. That's for sure. Um, we'll have to put a, a trigger gauge on it one day. It had a dark series that came out with the 226, and that's definitely what this one reminds me of. And just for all the mark, uh, so everybody can see all the markings on it. We got Sig Sauer here, and we got our import marks here. It's kind of in an odd place there. But I, I did some research, and that's just that's just a spot they put them sometimes. And then we got our other markings right here. Got a little bit of a ding right there on the end. Y'all notice that? Yeah, got a little bit of a ding. They dropped this one right there, but I don't care. As long as it shoots straight, yeah, that'll make a lot of people uncomfortable right there. 
but there's what the, the crown and the, the barrel looks like, the fit. And we got our numbers right here on the side, matching serial numbers on the frame and the slide and the barrel. I'm not going to take the pistol apart. YouTube doesn't allow us to do that, but the serial numbers all match up. There's even one more. So these are the official sites. These are the sites that, that came on it. And there's another, you see the number eight? I don't really know for sure if it's an eight or not, but it looks like an eight on the rear site. So that's another marking I noticed. Y'all chime in on the comments if y'all know what that means. Because I've done my research on these pistols, but I, I still don't know everything there is to know about them. And I just, I, I love the 226 design so much that I just love knowing everything there is to know about them. Um, slide feels, it feels, it feels smooth. Yeah, I just wanted to show this sexy girl off to you guys. I can't wait to get this thing out on the range to shoot it. So with these old 226s, the West German ones, these were made from stamped sheet metal. And you know, they seem high quality enough to me. They, they say they're not um, as durable as the ones that are um, made from a solid billet, but I don't care. As long as it shoots fine with me, I, I'm fine with it. So I really wanna get this out to the range and compare it to, I actually don't have just a standard SIG P226 yet, but when I picked this one up from Layaway today, they had a standard 226 for a good price. And guess what? I put that one on Layaway. So now I have one more 226 on Layaway. It's just a standard model, nothing, no frills. It's not the elite model. It's the older model, but it came with four different four four magazines, and it was in mint condition. So I, I couldn't ask for more, and he gave me a good price on it as well. So, um, also, it seems like uh, gun prices are, are are starting to settle back down, which is wonderful. With that in mind, I went ahead and put the standard Sig 226 on layaway too. I'll roll in a picture of what it looks like right now. But I would really like to get this out to the range and compare it to my Legion right here. Um, cause this is the cream of the crop. Well, this is the cream of the crop until you get into the custom shop and the X5 and stuff. Those are really the cream of the crop, but this is about as creamy as I'm going to get <laughs> with my, uh, budget. So, uh, I really look forward to comparing this sexy baby right here to the, to the Legion. Yeah, it's smooth. It's hit. It, it is heavy, it's on the heavy side, but that's a safety feature on these double actions, you know? You just, if you don't want a safety on a gun, your next best option, uh, if you don't want striker fire, that is, is to go with a double single action. You just got that, there's no way you're gonna mistakenly pull this heavy trigger on this gun. There's no way. I mean, look, y'all can't tell, but I'm adding a, big, a good bit of force to this and that hammer's not even moving. <laughs> it's a heavy double action, but as soon as you start pushing it, it wants to push your finger through the rest of it. Yeah. But the, the crazy thing is the single action. It's light. Let me see. It's lighter. It's lighter than my Legion is. Just going from my feel just now, to me, it feels like it's a lighter trigger. So I can't wait to, oh, and one more thing. I was a little bit um, curious about this. I, I knew they probably would fit, but I wasn't for sure. My Metgar 20 round mags will fit just fine. So that's what 20 plus one looks like right there. 20 in the mag, one in the chamber. Perfect. Oh man, this is like the this is like the Laura Croft USP 
SIG, SIG model. <laughs> she got the USPs, two tones, and this is the SIG, two tone. Yeah, this baby looks sexy. So here's what the the sights look like. It's that old setup. This front post has kind of lost all of its its light. It looks like, but I think I'm gonna either put either an orange or a green dab of paint right there on top of that because it's all it's all whited out now. But I, I, I think they're fine. I'm not gonna change these. I'm I'm leaving this thing exactly as is. Nothing. On this pistol will be changed unless it needs to be unless any springs need swapping but i, I took it apart and i, I took I, I looked all through it and everything looked everything looked clean to me <clears throat> so hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you soon